out there have been many ways that people have shown respect for NHS frontline workers, but our next guest wanted to honour them with something permanent. Yes, Tom Croft, who is an artist, posted on social media offering to paint a free portrait of an NHS worker, and he was overwhelmed by the response, so he had to widen the field. Yes, over the following months, he matched more than 500 artists with people like doctors, nurses, paramedics and other key workers. Here's what some of those pictures look like. Good. I know we were all looking very, very carefully at those pictures. Really lovely, images. really lovely. Um, well, artist Tom Croft and a and &E nurse, Harriet Durkin, who was painted by Tom. Good morning to you both. Join us now. Morning. Hello. Hi, Hi Harriet. How are you? Hi. Hi. Good morning. Hey, Good morning. Harriet. Tom's you. asking Hi. how you're doing. I'm good, thanks. How are you, Tom? Good, good. Half asleep, but we'll get through this, Harriet. Come on. You, you, oh, come Harriet. on, you can get through this. It's gone nine o'clock now, Tom. That's no excuse, even exactly. for you, I've even no for you, Auntie no, Tom. Um, listen, <laughs> Harriet, tell us how this happened, because I think it was your, wasn't it your friend who pointed out um, Tom's Instagram and got, got you to respond straight away, so you got yeah. the first portrait. What then happened? Um, so my friend tagged me in a person on Instagram uh, and messaged Tom, after seeing the post, straight pretty much straight away, probably only a couple of minutes after Tom posted, actually, it was very quick, um, saying, hi, I'm an a and &E nurse, I work in Manchester. Uh, at the time when I entered the competition, I was off sick with symptoms of coronavirus, so sent quite a few messages straight away, and Tom got back to me, saying, oh, hi, amazing, you were the first person to contact me, you, you've won this competition couldn't believe it at the time was like well no no way I can't believe I've won that um, and then we got chatting got to kind of know each other a little bit exchanged quite a few messages uh, and then decided on which portrait Tom was going to paint. Do you know what Harriet? <laughs> Harriet, sorry to interrupt, but we're just seeing the picture okay. that Tom did of you because what you did is obviously because of social distancing, you sent in pictures and you decided to send one of these pictures, a selfie you'd taken of you in your PPE gear. What, why did you feel that kind of was very representative of what you were going through at that moment in time? So at the time, it was all quite uncertain. Um, coming to work was quite difficult. Every day was different. We were given new guidance by public health, etc. Um, and the first time I worked in the high-risk COVID area of our A&E department, um, I done the full PPA, the quite intense mask, the visor, long sleeve gown, etc. And it was the first time I'd done it. I, quite, I felt incredibly scared. Took a picture of myself, kind of waved at someone like, oh, look, this is happening. Sent it to my family. Um, and it was probably one of the only pictures I had of me in that PPA. Um, it felt quite fitting to send that picture to Tom and we both agreed that that was quite an appropriate picture to paint. Um, and it obviously has a massive message. That it, was, it was a very daunting time, very challenging time. Um, mm. So, yeah, it's... I tell you what, Tom, listening to Harriet there, uh, I mean, it's, it's really, as is often the case when we talk to NHS frontline staff, it's quite humbling, isn't it? And you hear those words, you know, that she herself was frightened wearing that, what she, they had to wear in those times and of course people are still having to do that now that must have been yeah. something that hit you very clearly when you were thinking about how you wanted to represent someone in that role absolutely i mean the, the whole idea started of just feeling i think we all feel so indebted in normal times to the nhs and to these incredible workers but through the face of a peak of a pandemic i just felt that i needed to kind of reach out and say a kind of personal thanks so you know, if I, I sort of say, if I'd been a baker, I'd have baked cakes, but as a portrait painter, 
um, it is a way of um, kind of creating a permanent physical record of somebody. You know, if you think of all the selfies that people take these days, and we rarely, if ever, print them out and put them in a frame and put them on the wall. So I think to, to kind of understand what a portrait is, it is, a, as I say, a permanent sort of historical record of somebody's existence. And I also think portraiture can kind of elevate the status of somebody. If you walk through, let's say, National Portrait Gallery, you'll see the great and sometimes the good of the past looking back at you so you can get that kind of sense of history. And I was thinking that this period of history will probably be defined, I assume, by coronavirus and therefore who were the key players, these incredible NHS workers. Can so I just I really say, Tom, to, uh, just, just to explain to yeah. people, as you're talking uh, and we're looking at some of the pictures that a lot of other artists uh, have done of people, and I tell you, what's, one of the things that strikes me is that they're smiling. A lot of people... So we're seeing the real yeah. people holding their portraits and some of them, you know, clearly in, in those very challenging times. But the smiles yeah. on their faces now, I mean, it's lovely to see. Yeah, I think that speaks of the kind of personalities of people who can go back into a job like that. I can't imagine that. You know, my worst day is I don't mix the colour quite right or the nose is slightly off in a painting. You, I just... I can't imagine what they're having to go through on our behalf. And so... You know, as a result of that, I, I'm so pleased that our kind of art community felt the same and wanted to recognise them, wanted to say that we see you, we thank you for what we do, what you do. We can't sadly give you more money, but we can elevate you, you know, and put you on this kind of platform. And I'm I'm really thrilled at how many phenomenal artists took part. I mean, you've got people who are former presidents of Royal Society of Portrait Painters. You've got um, people who take part in the BP Portrait Competition each year. Um, just stunning, somebody who's painted the Queen. Um, so these are people who would charge, I assume, quite a lot of money and take a long time to paint these portraits. And we all wanted to give them up for free because we feel so indebted to, to these wonderful NHS workers like Harriet. OK, well, Harriet, you're the, you're the hero. You get the last word. How's things with you? you? Are you back at work and everything OK now? Yeah, I'm back at work. Um, I've just had a week's annual leave, actually. But, yeah, back at work. Busy, it's challenging, it's tough. But, yeah, I'm back there. Well, Harriet, um, we all greatly respect and are very grateful for what you're doing for us as well. So you take care of yourself, um, Harriet, Dirk, and then Tom, I think you articulated that wonderfully. And thank you for celebrating them. Um, we should say Tom's book is called Portraits for NHS Heroes.